Uziyoma Onuzubike. I am a ceramics artist, poet, writer, and historian of African art and design. I'm currently, by God's grace, head of the Department of Fine and Applied Arts at the University of Nigeria and Suka, where I am professor of ceramics art. The title of this work is Nkukeraki uh, Amor for the giant of Africa. Nkukeraki is um, an Igbo word for palm canal shells. And the work was made in 2018. The social history of Africa inspired, inspired artwork. What made us what we are today? and how we are today. The um, social conditions of Africa inspired it. And um, I chose the palm canal shell because the palm canal was uh, a very important African produce that replaces the imperial interest in Africa after the slave trade. So, and then the shell itself reminds me of exploitation. The shell reminds me of beads because they look like beads as well. They even sound like beads when you collect them. The ring, the ring of, of beads. And then that was what inspired me to do this because um, I was looking at examining how the resources of Africa have been at the core of their problems. Some people have thought that resource costs. Our resources have been like the honey pot, drawing the interest of the imperial world to us. And then to exploit these resources, they leave us with the way we are. They leave us with the shell to take this substance. They are taking our best, including our best uh, uh, youth population today. Give them grants, give them scholarships, snatch them away. And they are like taking our call. They are like leaving the shop behind us. So, for example, in Nigeria, we call us of China, of Africa, but we are like a spent shell. So, this work titled uh, Nikukarati Amor. Um, I'm going to show how much the giant of Africa is like saying that basically the giant of Africa. But um, I like to spend shell. We need to reinvent ourselves, even using the shell. The shell can be transformative, can transform into something else and regenerate ourselves. This is one of the first series of, of, of the big works that I have in the core gallery. So I would say that this museum <laughs> has a significant collection of the series because this, I would say, is the first one that has been in, on display, on public display at this level. And so what I have in the core gallery is um, an extension of this particular work. But I've gone on in the ones I have and the, the, that exhibition to um, inlay the shells with glass and base. So I'm transforming them more and more. But this is the base. And again, the same concerns that I've um, raised with this work is what I'm extending in that, in that piece. How we are. Uh, Accumulating this status symbol of wealth, which adds nothing to our development as a people, making us to remain giant of Africa, that can be likened to a spent shell. The 
because I'm interested in the, in the social, political, and economic turmoil going on in Africa and in my immediate environment in Nigeria, I find that the, the studio process of working play, most of the processes are also valid. They tell you about what happens. In fact, you are, you are clubbing the clay before you put the water to sleep. You are pounding. You are waiting. You are perforating, like the shells. Perforate. Perforation is a very painful thing. You perforate. You, you, it's like nailing. You perforate. You cut. You burn. You pass them through fire. So these processes are like metaphor, um, metaphors that are fitted for the kind of turmoil that I find in Africa. So I'm using that and um, in some cases I also use that to reflect our vulnerability that the human body is like the pot that it can break. It's also a natural resource, like human beings all resources. We made from the earth and we return to the earth. And so, <laughs> so that's that's uh, part of of my my constitutional reasons for using clay. Right from the gate, looking at the museum building, I was happy that um, there's something like it. So, first impression, yes, is a good model. Africa, model for Nigeria. They are what we're looking for for a long time, especially in the context of education. So it was um, with delight and happiness that I received my entry into this process. Starting from the outside, that reminded me of, um, of um, the African, <laughs> you know, the Adobe. I, I remember uh, my grandmother's heart. You know, they had colors, like, like we're coming in home. So it was a good impression. Well, I think it's a significant exhibition it's to, to extend the debate. The, bigger, the debate has been going on um, in the West. So I think the museum, it's a good thing that the museum wants to join the debates, the discussion, the ongoing debate about female representation in the uh, visual art sector. And I think that will also encourage uh, many uh, upcoming female artists to know that um, the, uh, that the attention is also shifting to them and that um, there's a concern about whatever factors that have been hindering their visibility. And I also think that the kind of program the, uh, the museum has developed it will also help to raise their visibility because it is not that some of them are not practicing but Critical attention is not really being given to them. So I think that the educational uh, policies or directions of the museum and then the exhibition that they're planning. These satellites, satellites will be beamed on these uh, important human artists so that um, their visibility will be raised, encouraging others to join the work that they want. That's what I think. And it's a great work that you're planning to do.